an 11 hour long endurance HOH competition ends with the crowning of a new head of household. Tonight on Big Brother Cheesecake. Hello, I'm Andrew Shevsik. Welcome to Big Brother Cheesecake. It's day 22 inside the house, and yesterday the 13 remaining house guests fought to become the fourth head of household of the season. It was an 11 hour long competition, and there is so much to talk about that what I'm going to do is I'm going to condense it a bit. First, there was a bit of controversy. There were two, I left for a bit, and when I came back, there were two controversial things that I had to judge and even though that led to everything spiraling out of control one I do think that the person who ended up winning was not involved in any of the controversy so it ended up as fair as possible and two when you're the host and producer of Big Brother Cheesecake and you have originally 16 and now 13 house guests it's impossible to please everyone so I simply went with what I thought was the fairest and most unbiased thing at the time, and those were the decisions I made. And you know what? It kind of blew up in my face because at the end, I tried to extend an olive branch when John po posted a tag of Jeffrey, and that even that blew up in my face. So I don't even know if the olive branch was worth it. But in the end, the right person won. So let's agree to disagree and move on because there's no way to please every single person because I got a whole lot of shit from one side of the house when I made a decision to keep Melanie and Jeffrey in the game but had I not made that had I made the opposite decision and eliminated them I would have gotten a whole lot of shit from the other side so I was in a no-win situation so the decision was made it's done the right person or the person who was involved with the probably the least amount of controversy won so good okay then, about halfway through the competition, so uh, Marissa, and I believe in this order, Marissa, Tiffany, Lisa, Charlene, Samantha, uh, Chris, Chad are eliminated. That leaves us with Debbie, Aiton, John, Angela, Jeffrey, Melanie. And at this point, we're around six to seven hours in. And Aiton says, and I'm, I, God, there's, it was so long, I'm not even going to scroll back. Aiton basically says, this is really going on forever, it's not fun anymore, just give it to me, let me win, and you're all safe, I'm going for the people who were eliminated earlier. Uh, which, of course, Lisa didn't like, because she was one of the people eliminated earlier. And it didn't really work. Um, I think, to a degree, it was a good idea, it was a good idea to, to, to try and make the deal. The two small issues were, one, Aiton showed that he was really fed up and he was done and he was basically this close to, to bailing. And so anybody who was against Aiton thought, he's coming out of almost desperation, he wants out, so why give in? And then the second thing was, his deal was, let me win and I'll keep you safe. If he had said, let, and I'm not going to name any names, but if Aiton said, let this person win and we'll all be safe... It would have looked more of like a thing. Who knows? Maybe I'm wrong and maybe nothing would have worked. Um, or maybe I'm right and th that was the issue with it. But Aiton did try to make a deal and I definitely commend him for doing that. Uh, it did not work. So then Debbie was eliminated next. Then Aiton finally said, I want to enjoy my Saturday night. We then were down and Melanie went after that. She spelled Jeffrey with a U at the end. Oh, earlier on. I told Chad that at 3 p.m. he could be he could unleash all his craziness, and instead, when the competition started at 11, it was pages and pages of names spelled wrong and who knows what the hell is going on, uh, asking who has the hot potato 5,000 times. So then I had to tighten up the rules and say, uh, if you tag somebody, you're out. If you spell a name incorrectly, you're out. And there was a third one. If you 
pass the potato on when you don't have the potato, you're out. And that was actually the reason why Samantha was eliminated, because she typed Jeffrey E-R-Y at the end. And that was also why Melanie was eliminated, because she typed it with a U at the end. Um, so you can thank chat for that. Um, and then we were down to Angela, John, and Jeffrey. John was eliminated next. And finally, we had Angela and Jeffrey, who were going for about a good hour at the end. Again, there were some closed-door deals made because Jeffrey eventually said, you know what, fine, you can have it. There was also a lot of peer pressure for him to quit. Um, and so, with that said, congratulations, Angela! You are the fourth head of household of Big Brother Cheesecake and our first repeat head of household. And that means we also have four female head of households in a row. Good for you guys, or girls. So, with that said, Angela, you have until, I believe I made it, 9 p.m. Uh, tonight to nominate two people for eviction. Monday will be the nomination ceremony and the veto player draw. Tuesday, Wednesday, power of veto competition. Thursday, power of veto ceremony. Friday, the final two nominees played their case. And Saturday, it's the next live eviction and head of household competition. Who will Angela nominate for eviction? And who will be drawn to play in the power of veto competition? Find out tomorrow on Big Brother Cheesecake. I'm Andrew Shesson. Take care. Bye-bye.